All right, coaches, we are talking about how to attack full slide protection. Um, pretty simple concept when you think about it. If you're seeing teams that attack, that, that use pass protection full slide, whether it be to the, to the back, away from the back, to the field, to the boundary, it's important you get a two-on-one overload on the back, or if you have a better athlete, a one-on-one -on -one overload at the back. We're looking at Defiance College here. Okay, 20 personnel grouping right now. You're going to see a full slide team. Okay, working to the right, offensive line-wise, they're all stepping right. They're working to the right. Okay, well, Coach Judge, the defensive coordinator at Defiance, who, are, who ranked in the top 10 this year in Division Three in uh, total defense, what he's going to do now is he's going to see the slide protection. Okay, what he's going to do is he's going to bring six. Okay, he's a man pressure team. You have one, two, three, four, five. Actually, a seven-man protection, seven-man pressure here. Okay, when the back flares. He just adds on. So right now this backer is going to be responsible for the back. You're going to have one back taking on two backers here. It's going to be a win for the defense. Get a better look at the end zone shot. Okay, there's your full slide. Okay, so th this is just scan protection right now for that back. Okay, they're all stepping, they're working. Okay, you're going to have a wide open A-gap run through. The back is going to work to scan across here. He may be able to handle him, but when you bring another one here, there's going to be an extra man to attack that protection. And you see he's coming loose. Good example of how you attack slide protection, identifying where they're sliding and bringing at least one, possibly two, to the side of the slide. Coaches, thanks for logging in.